Hello there boys and girls, welcome to lesson 6.3, Estimate Fractions, Sums, and Differences. Our essential question for tonight is, how can you make reasonable estimates of fractions, sums, and differences? We'll be focusing on estimating fractions. Go ahead and turn in your Go Math book to lesson 6.3. When estimating a fraction, you want to estimate it either to zero, one half, or one whole. So when you look at the fraction portion of a mixed number, you want to look at the fraction only when you estimate. And you're going to look at it and you're going to imagine, is this close to zero? Is it closer to one half? Or is this fraction closer to one whole? If I had a fraction cut into five parts and three are shaded in to show three-fifths, I can imagine that this would one half looks like that. Do you see how three-fifths is really close to one half? It's not really close to zero and it's not really close to one whole. So I would estimate two and three-fifths to be two and one half. Now let's look at one and three-eighths. I went ahead and shaded in three parts out of eight parts to show three eighths. Now here's my number line, zero, one half, and one whole. If I were to have this cut into eight parts, one half is four eighths. Three eighths would be right about there. On this number line, three eighths is closest to four eighths, also known as one half. So I would estimate this to be also one half. So I'm going to call this one and one half. So now my question can be changed to two and a half minus one and a half. And now I can subtract two and a half take away one and a half. Now remember when you subtract with fractions you always keep your denominator the same and you subtract your numerator. One minus one is zero and then two holes minus one hole is one hole. Well, because this is zero halves for my fraction, I can just call this zero. So our final answer is going to be one hole. Let's go ahead and look over at number six. Number six says two-fifths plus two-thirds. I went ahead and drew a fraction circle that is cut into five equal parts, or close to equal parts. And then I also drew a fraction circle cut in two-thirds. Now I can shade in two-fifths just to see the model to help me uh, visualize this better. You can always do the same thing as long as you try to make them look equal as possible. So this is two-fifths and now I'm going to shade in two-thirds. Now remember, whenever you estimate a fraction, you're either going to estimate it to zero, one-half, or one whole. And let's look at two-fifths. Remember, with a fraction, if it's cut in half and it's not, it, if it doesn't simplify to a half, you can visualize a, just an imaginary line coming straight down here to see, is two-fifths closer to one-half? Is it closer to zero? Or is it closer to one whole? I can automatically see this is closest to one half because this is all that I have left right in this section. So I'm going to say two fifths is closest to one half and two thirds. Let's take a look here. Two thirds, remember if I had an imaginary line draw straight down the middle to cut this into halves, I could see two thirds is a little over one half. It's a little greater, but it is closer to one half than it is all the way up to one whole. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one half as well. So I can estimate this to be one half plus one half is two halves, which equals one whole. So this is our estimate, about one whole. All right, let's go ahead and look at number eight. I went ahead and drew the model for you to show one whole and seven eighths shaded in and one and a half shaded in. So we can look at seven eighths and we can see that seven eighths is almost shaded in to be one whole because I can have one eighth right there that still needs to be shaded in to show one whole. So I'm going to estimate seven eighths to be about one whole. So one whole plus one whole is two holes. So I'm just going to call this two. 
Now let's do one and a half. Well, it's already done for you. So two holes minus one and a half. So let's go ahead and work that out over here. Now, don't drop down the one half. This is a mistake a lot of kids make. They say the answer would be one and a half. That's not true. What you have to do is you have to say, can I take one half from a fraction part? Well, there's no fraction there to give, so we have to make a fraction. So what I can do is I can regroup. I'm going to take away whole, and I can make a whole, two halves. Now I can subtract. Two halves minus one half will be one half. And one whole minus one whole is zero holes. So the answer for two, and a, two minus one and a half will just be about one half. Okay, friends, so let's look at number 10. Number 10 says 3 and 9 tenths minus 1 and 2 fifths. I went ahead and drew a model for you for you to visualize what 9 tenths looks like. And 9 tenths, if you look at it, is almost one whole because there's only one tenth left to shade in. Therefore, I'm going to estimate 3 and 9 tenths to be about four holes. Now let's take a look at 1 and 2 fifths. Here's 2 fifths. Remember, you can make an imaginary line going straight down the middle to show one half, and two fifths is really close to that imaginary line. So I'm going to call this one and one half. So now I can go ahead and subtract four holes minus one and a half. Now remember, don't make that mistake of dropping down your one half. You have to regroup from your holes. So I'm going to borrow from my four holes and make three holes. And we're going to have it three holes and two halves, which still equals four holes. We just regrouped a little. Now let's go ahead and subtract two halves minus one half equals one half, and three holes minus one hole is two holes. So our estimated answer should be about two and a half. All right, let's read number 13 together. It says, for a fruit salad recipe, Jenna combined three eighths cups of raisins, seven eighths cups of oranges, and three fourths cups of apples. About how many cups of fruit are in this salad? Now this word about tells me I want to estimate. So I'm going to underline the word about, and I'm going to go ahead and circle my three fractions that I will be estimating, and I'm going to go ahead and estimate each one of those. Now let's go ahead and look at three eighths. If you can visualize three eighths, it looks like this. And if you can visualize seven eighths, it would look like this. And of course, three fourths would look like this. So as you can see, here's three eighths, Here's seven eighths and here's three fourths. If I want to estimate these, I can go ahead and look at this first one right here and I can say three eighths is about one half because it's almost shaded as one half. Seven eighths is almost one whole because it's almost completely filled in. And three fourths, we can go ahead and either estimate that to one half or one whole. I'm going to go ahead and estimate it to one whole. Now all I have to do is add up my estimates. One half plus one whole plus one whole is about two and a half. So I would say there's about two and a half cups of fruit in my salad. So let's take a look at question number 14. It says Tyler had two and seven sixteenths yards of fabric. He used three fourths yards to make a vest. About how much fabric did he have left? So let's go ahead and estimate what two and seven sixteenths would look like. I went ahead and made a number line here to show you. So that way we can use a number line to visualize this. Now if I think about 7 sixteenths, I know 1 half of sixteenths would be 8 sixteenths because 8 sixteenths is equal to 1 half. So 7 sixteenths is really close to 8 sixteenths. It would be about right here on my number line. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little dot right there to show what 7 sixteenths would look like. So I would say that 7 sixteenths is really close to a half, so I would say 2 and 7 sixteenths is about 2 and a half. He uses 3 fourths yards of fabric to make a vest. About how much fabric does he have left? Now I'm going to do this and make 3 fourths about one whole because 3 fourths 
is almost a hole. Look right here. If I have a hole cut into fours and three are shaded in, there's just one fourth left to be a hole. So I'm just going to round it up to be one hole. So it will be two and a half yards of fabric. He uses about one yard to make a vest. So about how much does he have left? He has about one and a half yards of fabric left. Okay, so go ahead and turn your page over to the back side and we'll begin our homework problems. All right, you can do numbers one and two all by yourself by estimating and reading your question carefully. Remember, this is estimating, it's not actually solving for the real answer. So please make sure that you look at those clue words that say estimate or about. After you answer these two questions, please continue on with three through six, so that way you can work on those for review questions. And please don't forget to assess yourself at the very top of your page. Please write down number one if you're a novice, two if you feel like an apprentice, three a practitioner, or four you feel like you're an expert on this topic. And here are your questions again. And remember, boys and girls, we will be practicing more of this tomorrow in class, so you will feel more like an expert as we go along. All right, have a great night.